For the past few Sundays now, we've been in this series of God's Everyday Grace. And we started that series talking about God's everyday grace that is poured out through Scripture, through our daily engagement and reading of Scripture. One of just the most beautiful things to me about Scripture is the depth of Scripture, that it never runs dry. Take, for example, I was reading this week uh, the story of David and Goliath in 1 Samuel 17, and that's, I'm, of all the stories in Scripture, that's got to be one of the most well-known. It's always, I mean, it's referenced in our culture, people who don't even have an idea of what it is about. Everybody knows of the story of David and Goliath. And so to some degree, kind of expect to come to it and like, yeah, yeah, I know what it is, just looking through it. This again stands as a, as a good reason to never come to Scripture expecting it to be dry. Always come expecting there to be more depth, more grace to be poured out upon us. This time as I was reading through, of course, kind of the backstory of the... Um, Israelites and the Philistines and they're drawing up their battle lines and this one Philistine Goliath comes out and is shouting at the Israelites and defying the God of Israel and saying if you can beat me then you guys win and if you can send somebody and I beat them then we win kind of the backstory is going on and I'm still reading along and then it comes to the point where Jesse is going to send David, his son, to go check on his other sons that are out at battle. And so reading along, and then verse 20 just sticks out to me. By God's grace this time. And David rode, rose early in the morning and left the sheep with a keeper and took his provisions and went as Jesse had commanded him. And that verse just stopped me. That David rose up early in the morning and left the sheep with a keeper. Now, all the other times that I've read this story, in my arrogance, I want to be David. I want to be the one, the hero that goes out and defeats Goliath, that has so much faith in God and so much conviction that I know what I have to do and I go and stand against the enemy and save the day. Become the one that's in the history books. And I read it this time. And I realized that I'm not David. I was left at verse 20. And David went on and fought the battle, defeated the enemy, and brought salvation. Jesus goes on. He fights the enemy. He defeats them in battle. We have salvation through him. But he left us. In verse 20, here we are, the keeper, the good shepherd has left the flock and he has put us to be the keeper of the flock until he returns. And while that can be somewhat like, oh man, I wanted to be the hero of the story, it's also deeply freeing to know that I'm just the keeper. <clears throat> it's okay. Just like the parable of the talents that there is an owner who, who goes off and gives his possessions to some stewards of his and then comes back and says, okay, now give an account for what you did with what I left you to keep. David leaves the sheep with a keeper and inevitably would come back and ask, hey, how did it go? Did you keep my sheep? I'm just a keeper. By God's grace, I am a keeper. I am not the shepherd. And the good shepherd is going to return. And I ask myself every day, what did he leave me with? And am I doing a good job? Am I being a good steward of what he has given me? So I hope that can encourage you today. If nothing else, then to just approach and come to scripture every day expecting God's grace to be poured out upon your life.